If I was ever stranded at sea, of all the sharks that might show up, it's the great white that I fear the most. This predator preys on large and agile marine mammals, like seals and dolphins. So a slow swimming land mammal like myself doesn't stand a chance in the water against one of these sharks. So my question is which color will most attract a great white shark? Black, red, or yellow? This is our first shipwreck victim. Now black is the color of wetsuits worn by divers all around the world. Uh, we wouldn't feel right about throwing a human form into the water for the sharks to attack. That's why we've got him in the cage. Remember, this question is about color. All I want to find out is whether or not a great white shark is more attracted to black, yellow, or red. We've been chumming the waters with bait and fish blood, and we have two sharks circling the boat. As I lower down our black painted mannequin, I realize that nearly every dive suit ever made is black, including my own. The black mannequin has been in the water for about 20 minutes now, and the sharks haven't even come near the cage. It's time to try another color. Our next shipwreck victim is red, the color of blood. We know that sharks are attracted to the smell of blood. Let's find out if they're attracted to merely the sight of blood. Right away, this great white is more interested in the color red. And now look, there's two sharks circling the cage. Here he goes, here he goes, here he goes. Another shark has taken a dive and he's coming straight up from the bottom. Straight up, straight up toward the cage. Their sense of sight might be telling them that it's blood. Each time the sharks get close to the cage, their other senses tell them that the mannequin is not prey. Finally, we have Yum Yum Yellow. Now it's called that because back in the 50s, the Navy gave its pilots yellow life jackets if they had to ditch into the sea. Ironically, they began to believe over time, the sharks were attracted to the color yellow. There was also a theory that the color yellow would actually repel sharks because it's the same color as a deadly sea snake. That theory proved untrue. This time, like it was with the red mannequin, both sharks are immediately interested. One of them is circling around now. Just checking it out. The level of their attraction to the color yellow seems far more intense. Cautiously investigating. Not coming too close. Wait a second, here comes one of them now. He's just bumped the cage. Okay, and here comes another one. He's going right for the opening in the cage. All right, this mannequin's been in there long enough. Let's get it out of the water. Drop it right down. There we go. The results are in. When we put the black mannequin in the water, we didn't even see the sharks. They didn't come anywhere near. When we put the red mannequin in the water, they showed mild interest. They swam around. They were checking it out. But as soon as we dropped the yellow mannequin in the water, they showed aggression. They came up to the cage. They had open mouths. They bumped the cage. Does this prove that wearing a particular color is either going to keep you alive or get you killed? We don't know for sure. A lot more tests need to be done. But I know that for myself, when I go diving, I'm wearing black, not yellow.